What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the Super Squad channel where today I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the bases off of your die cast. I know there's a lot of tutorials already on YouTube, but I still get people asking me how to take these off. So I thought I might as well just go ahead and make my own edition of it. I'm going to try not to show you guys the actual die cast too much because the die cast review of it is going to be coming out after I make this. So yeah, <laughs> let's go ahead and I'll set you guys over here to the side. So you're gonna want a couple tools. The main one would be this right here, this cutting tool. It looks like that. It's the one that has this little like dip in it and it, it, you use to cut like, it's usually used to cut like metal wires or stuff, but you can use it to cut plastic and other kinds of stuff. Just give you a little 360 of it just to show you guys. So you're gonna wanna use this one and then you can also use one of these. I think these are used to like scrape stuff off, but <laughs> I use them to break stuff off die cast. And then you also might need to use these right here, these pliers. All right, so what you guys are gonna do is, I'm gonna take the die cast right here, take the cutting tool, and what you're gonna wanna do is get right in the center area right here, try to get as close as you can, and just cut it off right here, the best you can, because this section right here, like the ends are the toughest parts, so you wanna make sure you can break those, and then the rest should be very simple. All right, just gotta, Press hard until you hear it click. There we go. Heard that snap. And now this part is snapped in half here. Then we're going to go ahead and do it on the other side as well. Just got to keep on pressing until it snaps. Might want to move it around a little. There we go. I could do it one more time just to make sure. Uh, if you guys are a little bit younger, towards the younger side, you might want to get a parent to help you out with this. I do not recommend using these kinds of tools on your own. Uh, but if you are older, then obviously you can. Just make sure you're careful because you can hurt yourself. There we go. Now it's snapped in half on both ends. And then what I like to do usually is I like to hit it right here with this tool until the center right here snaps in half. So I'm just gonna hit it a couple of times until it snaps open. Use these to just start pulling it off of the car. Slowly but surely. There might be another way to do this, but this is the way I do it. <laughs> so yeah, maybe there's another different way that's slightly easier. But this is the way I like to do it. It's more fun, you know. It's a little harder, but you know it makes it more worth it because yet you, you got to work for it. You know, just want to pull it off of the car. Okay, I'm gonna crack it another time. There we go. That was a good one. And again on this side, clear out any plastic that's in the way snap again almost there guys then you're gonna want to hit it again you might want to try to hold it so it doesn't go flying just got to be really careful oh look we almost got it almost got it it's chipping away slowly but surely it's starting to crack you can see the infrastructure is slowly grating here across the center. What we want is the center to snap open. Just gotta be really careful when you're hitting it and holding it so that you don't accidentally hit yourself. But we almost got it. I think, oh, we're so close. I think I might be able to do this with my hands now. Yep, there we go. All right, so we have them separated and then you just, all you gotta do is twist it off right here. This is, the easier part, I'd say. Just gotta keep on twisting it until the nail comes out. And there we go, we got one off. And gotta start twisting the other. It's 
slowly but surely it will make its way out and if for some reason it does not come out you can always just get underneath of it and cut the nail off with these since this tool does cut metal you can just cut the nail off but i do want to try to just spin it off for you guys because sometimes cutting the nail off it can leave some it can still leave some nail left like i'll show you guys this one right here still has a little bit of nail in it right there yeah this still has a little bit of nail left it kind of blends in with the underbody but it's right there i had to cut it off because it just would not come out it's a little bit more difficult to cut it off because then you got to try to smooth it out because sometimes it doesn't cut cleanly just want to keep on trying to there we go look at that look at that nice and clean perfect there we go nails are gone car is off the base the base is gone reduce the atoms and there you go so you want this tool this tool and this tool right here and you'll have a broken base but it's a base that is off if you found it useful please let me know in the comments down below if there's another different way that maybe is easier that you guys know of, let me know too <laughs> but yeah hopefully you guys learned something here and that's gonna be all for me so if you guys did enjoy please don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always i will see you all in the next one take it easy and bye-bye.